What's good, y'all? It's King Tees. Welcome back to Throughout the Association. And, man, tonight was a very forgettable night for the Lakers. <coughs> I told y'all LeBron should have went to Philly. But after losing to Indiana by 42, the biggest loss in LeBron James' career, the Lakers actually made a trade. Just not the trade everybody thought they would finish. Now, the Lakers didn't trade for Anthony Davis, but they did just make a nice deal. According to Mark Spears, the Lakers are trading Sfi. I don't know how you say this boy last name. Y'all know who I mean. The Lakers are trading Sfi in a 2021 second round draft pick to Detroit for Reggie Bullock. Now, for those of you who don't understand why this is a good deal, Reggie, Reggie Bullock immediately becomes the Lakers' best three-point shooter, which is an area they are lacking in severely. He also is good on defense. Reggie Bullock is someone you can rely on to do what he does. And he'll fit right in with LeBron because he's a 3 and D guy. Now, for Detroit, this also makes sense as well because... Reggie is in the last year of his deal, and he might be too expensive for their liking, so they now get a second rounder in 2021, and they get his feet. Someone has shown, he, he shown flashes that he might turn into a decent player, and now he's going to get more minutes in Detroit. So this worked out well for everybody involved to me. I do wonder if LA will re-sign Reggie, but I guess they'll worry about that when they get there. But as far as everything going on with LA right now, I think they need to burn the tapes of everything that went down tonight. Just, just forget about it. And I also think tonight was an embarrassing display of leadership by LeBron James. Now, when Kevin Durant called the environment around LeBron toxic, I thought it was almost too far. And I'm still not even sure why he said that in the first place. But LeBron right now is not making the case for him to be wrong. And I told y'all before this year started... If L.A. have the same issues the Cavaliers did last year, which they are right now, I'm not blaming the coach no more. I'm not blaming ownership. I'm not blaming management. If everywhere you go, there's the same issues, it's you that's the issue. What you guys think about this? And definitely subscribe.